Good morning everybody and welcome back to I Loaf You. Today we are going to be making a pineapple upside down cake. So we are going to get started on our topping first. I have our melted butter and our brown sugar. I combine them first before we lay it into our pan. Just I find it's easier to spread. Just want to mix this up and make a nice paste and then we will spread it into the bottom of our 10 inch cake pan. pan has the brown sugar and butter in the bottom. I'm going to start by laying one pineapple ring and then I'm going to cut the remainder of our rings in half because I want to fan them out around the center pineapple ring. again going to pull out my hand blender so we're going to start with our shortening and our granulated sugar in the bowl we just want to blend these together now to this we are going to add in our vanilla and our eggs. And we'll mix it together and then our last step will be to add our flour as well as our baking powder. So we just want to add these things in and get it mixed together. are mixed together we want to take our pineapple juice from our uh, pineapple rings and we want to put it into a measuring cup and you want to add water to make this amount one and a third cups of liquid this comes the juice itself is just under a cup so we just want to add a little bit of water and that is going to make this into a normal cake batter consistency. batter is mixed together you just want to scrape down the sides and bottom just to make sure that there's no large lumps of our 
flour mixture before we added the liquid. And then we are going to take our cake pan that we set to the side. And we just want to dump the cake batter nice and evenly over the top of our toppings. And it looks like the bottom right now, but once we dump the cake out of the pan, it will end up on the top, hence upside down cake. Play on words, it's punny. Not punny, wrong word. Anyways, <laughs> just want to spread out our cake batter. It should just about cover the tops of our side pineapples. And now we are going to stick this into our 350 degree oven. And I will put an annotation right after this of how long I actually baked it for because I am not sure how long it's going to take. It's been a while since I've made a pineapple upside down cake, so I will let you know.